can't believe my city got nuked. This is a disaster. What do you mean you can't believe it? I warned you like 10 times. Yeah, I think I think Daltos did give you enough warning when it came to the new coal thing. Like He did. Yeah, he did get plenty of warning. <laughs> well, I expect it. And all you had to do was turn around and he didn't. <laughs> got a lot of repairing to do. Where are my engineers? Come on, lads. I'm gonna nuke it again. No, you don't need to. Like that's there's not even any units near it. I now have bomb shelters in all my cities. Bomb shelters don't do anything <laughs> against nukes. You know the mental the mental damage of the nuke is seventy five percent less damage. That's pretty that's pretty big. Yeah, but most of your army is condensed in one location. If Daltos drops a nuke on it, then that's No, I've spread it out everywhere. Is it? Okay. Isn't you only hit like two or three units at once? Hmm, yours rising on your your tourism's rising on why is it, why do we have so much of a massive thing here? 65%? We still have open borders. Oh, we can end that. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> Cult of personality. What the fuck's that? It's just because I'm such a cool, fun-loving dude, you know? What is that? Just a cool, fun-loving dude. Fascism gives you plus 12 happiness, guys. I know, I took that one. It was great. I'm, my people are so happy. It's amazing. They love me. <laughs> they love what I'm doing. They think it's the best. They don't ask where all the bodies are. Oh my god, we're just flooding in. We, I don't care. He's just got so many Zerg units. I'm just flooding down this other aisle towards your capital. So how did you launch the nukes then? Were they like... It's just pure spite. On, in, your, in your cities, and you launch them from there? Oh, yeah. Okay. You don't just have to not, use the yeah. carrier then. Maybe it's the bombs you got, the old bombs you had to have a carrier for. The old bombers. The old bombers. Cuba, culture victory contender. Congrats, Duncan. Yeah, I can't scratch your culture though. It's still quite a lot. Yeah. We're rising on each other about the same amount, but both of us are pretty... I mean, you're fuck, pretty scary, actually. Anyway, I think it's... My, this, do you think we can do a science victory for once? Maybe. Hmm. It could happen. I do need help with Lewis. He is overrunning. I'm not helping you. You didn't help me. Really? Still? He's got riflemen. <laughs> I'm fighting down. I'm just grinding it so hard. Uh, yes! You're next on the doorstep. Al Pacino is down. Holy crap. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Right. Al Pacino has fallen. I can't believe this. Oh my god. Uh, so can I get your support, Daltos? Uh, <laughs> can I get your support for the throne? Jesus, yes. And then I'll fight really? Duncan and get his support. Yep. And then I'll win. i will give you support for the throne. Interesting. Have you officially gotten Spiff's and Potatoes support as well? Spiff's, Potatoes, and yes. yours were Yeah. Few. I got Spiff's earlier. Okay. I got, got, got mine, yeah. I got yours, I got Potatoes. So I just need to fight, I just need to take Duncan's capital now. Oh, um, be prepared, Duncan. I didn't think Potato was going to give you support. Why did you give him? So I thought you could fight them easily. The potato got I, bankrupt. I thought I could. I ran out of. I ran out of money. I was bankrupt. Oh, I see. Damn. Even even with Daltos's eighty gold per turn, I was at negative forty happiness. Even with the eighty gold per turn, yeah. Jeez. Uh, where do you want me to aim the nuke, my lord? Oh god! <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's not necessarily part of the deal. His lordship. <laughs> Save it. Save it until Duncan gives me his support oh, for the throne. Okay. <laughs> that happens, the game's over. If I give it the support, you don't you just win? Though? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I can't nuke Duncan's cities, but I can nuke his army. Wait, you wouldn't hit your own border, Daltos, with the. If I surrender Dallas, then he, <laughs> Lewis just wins. Yeah, he does. I have to. I owe him my support. No, that's not how it works. You just give him your culture. You give him your victory chip, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not. You're just saying, yeah, you've basically got my capital, but I don't have to lose it. Yeah. Yeah. This is the deal which I've made up with you. This game. You can still, at you can still attack <laughs> Lewis. That's the, that. They're like it's a mad deal. I don't know why anyone isn't isn't attacking him. I'm not going to because he can't hit back without losing the chip. <laughs> Have you seen the size of his army? But the, if we he, he hits back, he he could just say, "Okay, fine, I'll hit back," and then that's fine. Then you know. But then he loses the chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's fine. Uh, like I mean, the reason no one's fighting back is because they think they're loose. That, that's why they're not fighting back. Oh, yeah. That, that's why I'm not attacking, because if I, if I fight him, I will lose, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, my military is pretty good, but not Lewis levels. If Lewis gets, if Lewis attacks me, Daltos, I'll just nuke him, take Al Pacino back and give it back to you. Go for it. All right, I'm coming for him. Yeah, because honestly, like, we are allowed to give the chip back whenever, whenever we feel like. Whenever we think we no longer need Lewis's guarantee of non-aggression, basically. <laughs> That's why I think it does work, because at any point we feel like we can't fight back, we can do it. All we have, like, you have my support for now, 
until that's basically the the, the deal i just don't want to micro a huge army anymore okay Okay, the next, the final boss. I'm at the final boss, guys. <laughs> this long single player game. <laughs> With this ragtag army. I made it through five opponents. Four opponents. Come on. <laughs> one more. One more. All right, Lewis, I have to give you open borders. I am waiting for someone to stab him in the back, though. Or not stab him in the back, but <laughs> like when it looks like Yondunk is about to win, someone says, like, okay, here you go, your chip is back. Just so he doesn't immediately win, basically. I will clear my <laughs> clear my unit. But away. no, he can't you can't take he has to give the chip back. You can't take it back. He has to attack you to get it back. What? You to get it back. Yeah. Oh, then I misunderstood the chip. To get like more resources or then something. Then I yeah. misunderstood the what, chip. No, no, no. The, okay. So what, what? What do you mean? The chip is. I've got the. I've got really his chip. If he attacks me, it's like a sort. Of, it's like sort of like a ceasefire. You've got to attack him for for the chip to get back. So, well, so I can't. I can't attack you because you have my chip, right? No, you can attack him. You can. Of course, you can. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. just he counts as having your capital until he attacks you again. But you can attack him as much as you want. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Basically, so I can attack him, but the second he fights back, he has to give the, the chip. No, no, no. I can fight back, but I can't take your cities. No. This is. I'm now confused back. to the rule. I thought I understood the you rule. You can't fight back. What do you mean fight back? If he attacks you with anything, the, the chip. My, my guys all automatically fight back when they're attacked. Yeah, but you can't. You can't. Aggressively, attack. you can't shoot his troops. I'm not. No, I, that doesn't work. That that doesn't work. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, the the rule is different now. Hmm. That doesn't work. Are you crazy? Well, that's that's what you said. <laughs> that's how it works in Twilight Imperium. No, no, no. But you have to take someone's zone in Twilight Imperium for it to kill. No, you, don't. Back. you just got to attack their units, which like you can attack them in the middle. He's of... taking their zone. So well, no, technically, like if they're in the middle of nowhere, you can and you attack their ships, then that still counts. But I think it's. I think we need different rules for this. Do you know what I mean? That, that sounds fair. Yeah, I think I could defend my own cities. He can't attack your units or cities in your territory, but if you're in his territory, he can defend himself. But yeah, you've you got to be careful giving that chip away. Yeah, that's the that's the point. Well, I, I misunderstood how the chip worked. Well, we, I, didn't, I thought... we haven't really decided. Brettol should be <laughs> deciding. You, yeah. What? You what? I just, I don't mind. I just, I've got a weird pop-up. Okay. All right, come on, guys. You know my cities are all like 130 strength, right? Jesus. I know. I'm looking forward to but, this. What well, choices do we have? <laughs> <laughs> do not enact nuclear non-proliferation. Yes, please. Well, um, actually, if we do, then Lewis will probably win. So I'm running on fumes here. Duncan, you, or uh, Lewis, you need to keep that. You need to upvote that. <laughs> what are we upvoting? Nuclear non-proliferation. Yeah. So we don't want that, right? No, we do want it. Why? I just thought I would inject more chaos into the game, so I'm going to fully upvote that. If we vote the yes, then no one can build any more nukes. So I can... Why do we want that? I'm going to nuke Duncan. Vote that Vote that down. It, it, messes, it messes with Duncan's ability to have a nuke. Right, I see. nuclear non-proliferation. Yeah. If we vote it up, no one can build nukes. If we vote it down, people can still build nukes. But I think I'm better off having Daltos Vote it nuke down. Duncan. Vote it down. Yeah, but Dunk Daltos wouldn't lose his nuke, correct? Yeah, I'll lose my nukes. I got bomb shelters, I got all this shit, and I'm, I'm alright. So Actually. you're not worried about nukes, basically, so you're not gonna bother with it, yeah. It only prevents new nukes being made. Any nukes that already exist, stay. Look, I'm at a point in this game where if you nuke me, I've already been nuked. Do you know what I mean? I'm already covered in mud. A nuclear fallout. I ain't nuking you anymore. <laughs> already covered in mud. What do you think I care about being you know thrown I mean? <laughs> mud on? I've already covered in it. I have fought an incredibly scrappy game of Civ, <laughs> yeah. and... It's not over, but it will be. Scrappy Doo was annoying, yeah. It's true. I have to keep going. I have no choice but to keep going. Despite my military being massively behind, despite, you know, everything that's gone on. Ah, oh, we can do this. One more. Scrappy was a redeemable character. I feel like I've been researching penicillin for the last two hours. <laughs> it takes a while, doesn't it? It does take a while to research that one. It's like, it's, like, it's like no wonders late game. Like, I don't want these fucking great engineers just doing nothing. Yeah, they can do I've started building manufactories with them. Yeah, you know, I know where to put them. There. I've still got some Swiss guards hanging around <laughs> from previously. This is how badly my empire is set up. All the last troops are going in. Everything I can muster for that one last push. What guys, who's going to win, by the way? That's a good question. I don't know. Currently, Duncan is in the lead, but can't really be said. Spiff's, Spiff's culture is 
This culture is going to win before my culture does, right? So Spiss got better culture. But your science will win before my culture does. Okay. It's got a better tourism than I do. Yeah, but when you get the internet, I can't. I don't. I can't make the firewall. But you can. Who is going to win? Kind of a switched around based on who you're not attacking. So currently, Kilwa needs 93 turns for Cuba. Cuba needs. I am 30 turns away from the internet. 92 turns from Kilwa. You guys are very equal. Very equal. Yeah, but I I can't make. My internet won't work, right? His will. So I think the I think the closest winner actually is going to be Lewis then, which is kind of cool. Well, if he he he's doing it military wise, yeah. What do you mean the closest winner? You are you are the closest winner. Yeah, I've got five. I got four out of five skulls. Mm, yeah, you've scalped. Except I don't have the capitals. Is there any way for us to take back our skulls? No. He got. He, well, if you attack him and he. D unless. No, I gave it to him. I, unless I take one of your cities. But you can just attack him. You can just attack him. Yeah. yeah. Like nothing's stopping you from doing that. That's true. Yeah, you can. I'll just have to fight a defensive war. And he has to fight the defensive war. I, I personally appreciate my king. But I mean, again, like it's like one of those things, isn't it? It's like that's what everyone does to the person who's in the lead. They just yeah. attack them. Yeah. It has to be done. I guess my choice here as current bottom of the board is like. Attack Lewis to stop him from a military victory, but but do I really want the tourist boys to win instead of Lewis? Do you think I'm gonna win against the highest tech? Yes, Lewis, I believe in you. Go, Lewis. Lewis has just got this stupid victory that he has invented. <laughs> Duncan, has, <laughs> Duncan has researched eighty-four percent of the tech tree. I've researched sixty-eight. <laughs> I have got like I'm using. I've used. He's got. He's massively outgunning me. I, I want Lewis to win because yeah. this is like the ultimate yeah. underdog. If I can beat this, if I can win this, this is insane. He's invented his own victory condition and he's winning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try and stop me. Yeah, you invent your own victory condition. <laughs> Next up, Duncan Skewing. Like, I decided that the first person researchers X wins. Oh, look, I just got it. Yay! Oh, I don't, I don't know if I'd win that one. <laughs> Man, I'm down for these homebrew victory. If you can find a good one. Well, of course I'm down. I, you know, it's to my favor, isn't it? All right. Where's my, oh my God, my remaining troops look a bit thin, even with like all the stuff that was on Potato's border transferred over. I'm putting, bo I'm putting thing on Duncan's borders. Why? I'm a toady. No, you're not. That's not that, that's not what it is about. Are you not a toady? You're Listen, literally not. I I didn't understand what he was saying. I'm just a toady. I agreed with you him. You don't want your city back? Yeah, I, I agree with what Lewis stands for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. But so basically, yeah. it involves it's confusing. snakes on the land. I can, we can fight him and Culture and Victory it, Contender. Is until he attack our city. But but he has no reason to attack our cities now. Exactly. Yes. That I don't like this card. I don't like this card anymore. So he's a free target for you. Okay, well. I love this card. I think this card is the greatest thing we've made. You agreed to it earlier, so. Well, I mean, but the rules have changed all of a sudden. <laughs> well, look, if I, if I pull this off, then you can decide whether or not I'm going to win, but the chances are pretty low. Okay, all right. <laughs> I feel like for the sheer audacity of what Lewis <laughs> has done, he deserves the victory in this case. <laughs> if I can do it. Oh my god, though. The, the duck has got a couple of layers thick of troops. It's a concern. Could I just nuke them? I could do. Yeah, I've just used my new... Oh, wait, no. Wait, you don't have nukes. Did it pass? Did a nuke pass? No, it didn't, no. No, it didn't pass. I still got nukes. So do I. Oh, no. Would you like them down to us, or should I use them on Lewis? Who gets nuked first? Uh oh. Why have I got minus three oil? You want to nuke a dead corpse or want a zombie walking towards you? <laughs> Where's my oil? How have I got minus three oil? How did this happen? Mm. Where would oil be? I can give you some oil. I produce it naturally. Want some oil? Have some fun with it. Yeah. There's five oil. Where is the oil? Duncan, do you also want five oil to counterbalance it? I've got 31 oil. Okay, you don't want it. I've got z minus three oil. It's not great. It's not the best, is it? It means everything that's using oil is going to be shit. Okay, I can build a tank. That sounds good. A real tank? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, not just a land ship. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? I don't know. Fake-ass land ships. It's like the McDonald's at home. Land ship at home. Should be able to use great engineers on, on nuclear missiles. Yeah, you'd, th you'd think they'd be able to, like, handle some missile building. Yeah. I thought we banned nuclear proliferation right no didn't pass no why would you duncan because i want to milk build more missiles oh, you want some milk i want to make milk more nukes you're gonna milk them 
He wants milk. You want to milk more nukes? Oh, fuck it. Let's just, let's just try, start trying to do this. Oh, all right, fine. Don't be crazy. Let's try and break through. Break them. I attacked. There you go. You can shoot back. Mm, I'm all right. What? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You need to shoot back. No, no, you, you must. You must. <laughs> you know how this works. You must shoot back. I'm okay, actually. I must fight you. Lewis can't fight unless you massacre at least 400,000 of his men before the war has even really begun. Yeah, we need to, we need to, have, <laughs> we need to have losses or else my guys aren't inspired. They're a great motivator, all of the all of the bodies lying around. <laughs> Just motivated. <laughs> oh shit. This is this is silly. Come on! This is silly. And now I lost those of trade routes. Not sure I didn't. Did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. Look, I'm busy making the I'm busy making the International Space Station, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to attack you. I'm finally gonna get the satellite soon so I can start seeing what's happening. Wait, did we pass the International Space Station? Yeah, we did. We're 72% done. Okay, so I shouldn't bother putting anything in, right? Or um, Well, it depends on what you're after. I mean, if you haven't done anything by now, you're unlikely to win it, but it might still be worth getting it for the scientists and stuff. Ah, I guess. And the boost. Woo, for the scientists. Oh, I didn't even look at that. I didn't even know that was up. Oh, no! Duncan has a great warrant, Daltos. Oh, shit, did I? I wait, I yep. nuked Lewis. Duncan nuked my army. <laughs> he nuked my entire army. I always knew you would do that. All of my bombers, everything. I nuked Lewis, and it made a <laughs> little, bit of, uh, little bit of collateral damage there, Daltos. Sorry about that. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a city back, and then we can make peace. How about that? Okay. Fucking nuked me. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I, hit, I hit Lewis's army. I'm sorry. You fucking ass. Do you think that's going to stop me? <laughs> oh my god, are you blowing up my- are you taking Al Pacino? Yeah, I'm getting back to Daltos. We win a deal. Yay. That wasn't a deal. That's not a deal. That weren't no deal. You liberate Al Pacino. Hooray for Al Pacino. Oh, well done. Send you a peace deal, Daltos. I'll take it. If you're going to have open borders with, with Lewis Spiff, and you're going to have his troops sitting around in your cities, you have to be warned that that city might get a nuke. Ah, uh, it's okay. Hey, Spiff, catch. Oh, okay. God. Uh, Daltos has declared war on Spiff. No. Oh, Puppy's got nuked. Why are you nuking Spiff? Oh, of all Puppy's people. Oh, my God. Of all people. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Why just would you do puppies? that? Oh, no. Puppies. You nuke puppies. Why would you nuke puppies? Gotta nuke something. No, puppies. What the fuck? <laughs> you fucking psychopath. <laughs> Who nukes puppies? <laughs> Of all the of all the people in the map, quite look. Oh, for f all I want to do, okay, is win my fake victory condition that I made up, rise toadies, and fight Duncan. Come on, you didn't need to do Spiff. Come on, come on, Spiff. You come with me and fight Duncan. Really in send troops, potato. What? Come on. Very well. Toadies assemble. Toadies assemble. We we must defeat this guy with waves and waves of Wait, useless it's crap. Useless troops. Come on. Oh my god. It worked against you, Potato. We can grind him into misery and unhappiness by pillaging his whole lands. What? Why? <laughs> why do you want to do that? We have no choice. We have no choice. Charge. How do I? How do I declare war on Lewis? Um, go into for, the diplomacy. No, <laughs> for, for, for made up victory conditions and noble nobleness. Come on, potato. <laughs> <laughs>